Hello everyone, I'm Iker with the fucking high vibes. How's everybody doing today? Today, this is a review of the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot, which I will go out on a limb and say that this is one of my very favorite tarot decks ever. <laughs> it reads incredibly well, and I have had kind of like spooky, accurate uh, readings with this deck because a lot of times an image will pop out and someone will say, you know, I, I had one specific event, two specific events actually, when the Two of Cups came out here and you'll see it. And it's a, in this deck, it's a handshake. But the guy, it turned out to be a career reading. And the guy kind of jumped and he was like, that's my logo. My logo is two people shaking hands. I was like, all right, that's awesome. So no wonder the card came out. <laughs> and the other one that I had recently was the Nine of Wands came out. And in this deck, the guy has a, a bandage over his eye. And it turned out to be a love reading. And the woman said, wow, my the guy I'm seeing has lost vision in one eye. So it's spooky that that, that, that card came out. So there are images in this deck that so far have related very personally with people. So I have been absolutely falling in love with this deck more and more every time that I use it. Plus the images are incredible. Just look at this box. First of all, this image is beautiful and the box is really just gorgeous. I love this gradient of beautiful grain with black. That's the back of the box. And it opens up like this. And it's just simple black inside. That's where the cards would be. And you have the book on top. But just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful imagery. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the book. The book is actually pretty meaty. The, pr the book is pretty thick. It's not your average little white book. Um, how many pages do we have? Oh, it's made by US Game Systems, as we're all very familiar with. <laughs> it's 187 pages and you have the eight coins rose tarot tattoo spread, sorry. And um, check this out. It's full color, full page. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, here we go. The Two of Cups, like I mentioned. <laughs> uh, yeah, so just full color, full image, full page. It's absolutely beautiful. And the way, the really cool thing about this deck, the way it came out, right now it's totally out of order. So because I use it a lot, you can even see that on the edges here, they're kind of gray instead of being beautifully stark white <laughs> because I have used this deck quite a few times. Um, but the way she, the way the deck comes out, a lot of times we see it starting with the Fool, right? Uh, or sometimes it's start with the Magus as the first one and the Fool will be the last. But the way she comes out is by drawing, by when she started. But I'll show you in a second. So like I said, they're out of order, so we're going with the Lovers. But very low here, she has drawing number 53. So this is the number 53 that she drew. This will be the King of Wands, and it's drawing number 12. That doesn't make any, that doesn't matter really when you're reading because the order is what the order is of the tarot. But it's just um, the order which she drew them in. Because as you can see, you'll notice that it, it becomes more elegant and more evolved. Right? You can kind of see it from the King of Wands how it has a bit of a, especially with the blue here, it has a bit of a, of a colored pencil style to it. Whereas the lovers is much more elegant. You know, the gradients are really there. It's just much more beautiful, much more thought out, I believe. So then you have the King of Wands. Look at this star. This star is beautiful, but pay attention to this star. I'm actually gonna leave it on the side because there are about four cards in here that are duplicates. I left them in because I found that so I see the two stars a little bit different, right? Um, that's up to you. You can keep them in or you don't have to. For example, this one was number was a drawing number three. So it was the third drawing she ever did for this deck. But I'm going to leave it out so you guys can, so we can compare later. This is Seven of Pentacles, which coming out of the hand, I think it's a beautiful description of this specific deck. I mean, card. Three of Wands. This fool is just gorgeous. This is the Ten of Wands. The Empress, drawing number five. 
the Sun, the Knight of Swords. I love this Two of Pentacles. It's so beautiful and elegant, but it has so much to do with balancing, right? A balancing act. She looks like a circus acrobat. It's just really cool. The Two of Cups. Now, this is really cool because there's not a person here, but it's the King of Cups, and but there's so much emotion. There's so much that draws you into this card. I love it. I don't know. It's just really a clever idea not to put a person in it. The Page of Swords. <laughs> I love the little um, beavers as the Three of Pentacles. That's just so cool. The Tower. This King of Pentacles is just beautiful. Two of Swords. It's very Rider Waite Smith based. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. This is the guy with the eye that I was telling you guys about. <laughs> Six of Swords. I love this Queen of Wands because you still have the crown. You have the lion, as you can see, tattooed on her. On our hand, you have the word burn, which is so cool. You still have the sunflowers. So, and you, of course, you have the one. So, with the fire, the passion, the burning, you know, the sunflowers, the symbolism is still here. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Five of Pentacles. This is really cute, the Eight of Pentacles. As working, as studying, as dedication. This moon is awesome to me. This magician is one of the smartest uh, depictions of this card I've ever seen. And you can notice kind of here the rattlesnake. There's a, I don't know if you guys can see the teeth here and the tongue and the rattle of the end of the snake. Kind of a trickster, could be. The magician definitely has that. But it was also the hand of change. The nine of swords. I'm gonna leave this one out as well because it's 10 of cups and it's drawing number four. Um, and when we get to it, I will show you guys and we can compare how different they are and I think how much more elegant the other one is. But for me personally, I kept them. I kept them together. This Ten of Swords is a little dramatic with the hands cut off, but I love it. And she explains it all in the book of why she did that. Her thought behind it. This little genie right here is absolutely beautiful. The world. I love this world because she explains that all the symbols that she's wearing in her crown are different symbols of who she's of who the fool has met in the journey. Page of Pentacles. Absolutely beautiful. You don't need a person, but there's just so much symbolism here. They know it's the Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. The Ten. You got the Devil. This Devil is really cool. I love this hangman. Another kind of like nod to the circus, which I love the circus. <laughs> and I love that it's a woman too. I love that it's a woman. It doesn't have to be the hangman. This deck is a little, it plays with gender a little bit, which I really, really appreciate. The emperor, king of swords. I love the dark eyes on this king of swords. I always associate the king of swords as being that darker, very like just kind of mean and very serious and stern energy. So I love, oh, sorry. <laughs> I love the dark eyes. So yeah, this is drawing number one. And you can see we already saw the nine of wands and she just kind of colored it in. You got the page of wands. This four of swords, I think it's actually quite smart. It's very different than what we're used to with the Rider Waite Smith, but I think it's very smart. Six of wands, the wreath of olives, um, victory. This Knight of Cups is just really, really cute. And I love the little, um, the, the, um, the heart. <laughs> He's a loving person. The Hierophant, this Hierophant is awesome. I love the, the two-headed raven, the wisdom. Oh, uh, you have the ank here and the keys. So totally awesome. Here we go. So as you can see, this is drawing number two of the star. This is drawing number 80. So this is one of the last um, cards she ever made. So do you see the difference? Do you see how it becomes much more elegant than this one? This one has more of a, like I said, a, uh, a crayon kind of colored pencil look, 
But then this one is just much more sophisticated. There's a sophistication level that kind of raises as she keeps drawing them. But I don't know, I keep them both. But that, of course, as you get this deck, it's totally up to you. The Page of Cups. I love that it's a koi fish. Five of Cups. This is Temperance, which I think is awesome. The Four of Wands. Sometimes it's called the Marriage Card, but I love it because it looks like a centerpiece. <laughs> you have your Queen of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. The Chariot. And you have just a little nod to the horse here. The Death Card is awesome, and you still have the Rose. Eight of Cups, and this Knight of Wands is a woman, which again, like I said, it plays the gender a little bit, and I think it's so awesome. And she looks just badass. Six of Cups. This Ace of Cups is so beautiful, and this Eight of Wands is absolutely incredible. I love this mandala effect, the way it, it talks about expansion and forward movement. It doesn't lose the meaning of the card, but it it's so much more beautiful. Get your Five of Wands. This Strength card is absolutely gorgeous. How she's wearing, she's conquered the beast with peace. How she's got her hands in prayer. And she's, now she's wearing her fear. She's not afraid of it anymore. Nine of Cups. You got your Two of Wands. And you have your Three of Cups too that I'm going to leave out. I think we already passed it. I don't think so, actually. Let's move on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so, uh, Ten of Cups. Here we have the first Ten of Cups, which is drawing number four. Then you have this other Ten of Cups, which is drawing number 82. So do you see the difference? Of course you do. Um, so this one, you have just two hands holding. Her tattoos say love and roses. He's also having flowers on his arms. You have the rainbow. You have the Ten Cups. You have all the symbols that are here. But it's just much more like tattoo inspired and kind of fits this deck better, much more than this one. And then right after you have the Three of Cups. So this one is, is the more familiar version of what we know. This is drawing number two. And it's the three women cheering as we know as the Three of Cups to be. But then this Three of Cups, there is such an elegance to it, a, a sophistication. It's three teacups. It's like the end of a, a really beautiful tea party where you got together with your, with your friends and you just talked it out. You know, you, you drank some tea, you maybe pour some tears <laughs> and you just had this really beautiful friendship. So I love that. I love this relationship with these two. Uh, so the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. I love this one. Queen of Swords, this one's really cool. It's like this fog and she is the sword just cutting through the fog, cutting through the bullshit. <laughs> you have the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles, our cover art. Three of Swords, absolutely beautiful on this one. The Justice, Four of Cups, Judgment, Ace of Wands, Five of Swords, the High Priestess, Knight of Pentacles. Kind of it feels to me like this glass casing, you know, with the with the lock inside. It has a bit of a feeling of uh, Beauty and the Beast, where things have to kind of things have to happen naturally um, for something to come in. But anyway, that's the Knight of Pentacles, and I I love this Seven of Swords. Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. So like I said before, and I will say it again, <laughs> this deck is absolutely one of my favorite decks ever to read for myself, to read for others. Everyone that looks at this deck compliments it, which, you know, heads, uh, hats off to Lena Zellner, the creator of the deck. Absolutely incredible, absolutely well thought out, beautiful, one of my favorite decks to read with. So hope you guys enjoy this. Much love out there, guys.